it ruins everyone's chance of points, right? In this top four, the only person who really, truly needs more points is Jimmy J. Fan, and he is now in the loser bracket. Gonna face the winner of one of these two guys, Equinox, Joey Fury, versus UIU, John Ding. All right. Have we seen these guys play? I can't recall. I can't recall either. I mean, but that's the beauty. Man, maybe this is the first time, and even more so, it's just something to add to the highlight reel. We're going to see that on a Blast from the Past matchup pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> and this has to be on there now, because Back. I said it, said it, said it, said it. Anyway. Said it, said it. Back to the arena we go. Loser bracket, semifinals. Going to be first to two. And then after this match, everything will be a first to three. Best Yo, lucky, lucky Chloe. Chloe. What? Uh-oh. Hell, you YG lucky boys. Mm -hmm. Hello. Let's see. I want to see the experience that my boy Joy Fury has versus Lucky Chloe. That's what I'm concerned about. The thing is, John Ding doesn't use her in a very gimmicky way, right? He's right. A very solid Korean style Lucky Chloe. It's not a gimmick stuff, but look at this. Low parry to start things off with Joy Fury. We're at the wall already, but look at that. Just far enough away, they missed the wall combo. He got really lucky though because he wasn't able to get punished because of the pushback. They're running Ooh. three. Nice wall standing one here. John Ding gonna be on the wall with this one. Look, plant and seed, bro. Look at Joey Fury working on a perfect right now in this first round. Almost got the close out. Not a single there hit of damage. That is a perfect on the side of Joey Fury. 28 second perfect. That was fantastic stuff. Down for two. Gonna get the wall again. Hey, this is hey, how the last hey, round started. Hey, uh -huh. uh. Oh, nice block on the low right there. Ooh, Ooh big hop kick from John Ding this time. Two attack. Running threes, man. Lots of wow. blocks. Uh, another hop kick. And two right, uh, runs back to round instantly. Yeah, instantly. had to answer back. He had to answer back. Only first and two here. And he's often go for the Lucky Chloe instead of the Eddie, which has been doing it pretty well. Wow. Wow. He what seems a pretty well. He seems like he knows. He did some homework here for sure. You gotta believe, you're Joy Fury last night, you know you're in this top eight, you gotta believe, I know all these American players, who do I gotta study for? John Ding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been, uh, we talked about how much he's traveled just in recent, what, two, last two years. You know he has enough experience where he's oh, played yeah. all these other guys before, so you're very much right. Of yeah, don't forget, switch. Joy Fury's the one who kind of put America on the map and say, like, we can not be the now when you beat JDCR combo breaker. Mm -hmm. Just dropped the slow combo that time. He's trying to dance on him. Rage mode, did he hit a button? No. Did he hit a button? Can't you punish? Gonna punish with the rage on right back. That's a smart punish. A lot of times, people try to punch and they whip right in front of Jack. Smart choice, John Ding goes up two rounds to one here. Round Very four. small mistakes right there led to a Joy Fury losing that round. Yeah, I like the idea of the rage right there, but you know, sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I feel like that's one of like the added things that's, that's happened. Oh, nice big launcher right there. Since Tekken 7 introduced <laughs> rage arts. Uh -huh. A lot of people get hurt trying to swing, call out someone's uh, attack just to take that armor, get that Woo! damage. Speaking of that damage, yeah, Joy big Fury. Counter hit, jackhammer elbow, and now the rage mode. Can Johnning make something happen with it? Oh, oh my god, back swing blow. Look at the damage, oh, running hits on the ground. Three. And it's oh, blown. the jab out again. Joy Fury gonna take it to the final round. First game, the Fury. Here it comes. Hopping vertical that time. Look at the conversion. Just frame combo all the way to the wall we go. Bop, back one. Half life. He does no damage, they say. I bet you get buffs in season two. <laughs> oh, power oh, crush. Just to get through. He could have killed with a better combo. The opportunity for Joey Fury here. Can he make something happen with his rage? Not gonna happen. First game to John Ding. Close one. Close one. Man, John Ding. Like I said before, we uh, we talked about earlier, we talked about a few things earlier, uh, earlier this year, and we talked about, you know, some of the international players needing that big win. We spoke about CEO. That was John Ding's big breakout. That was when a lot of people started paying attention to him. Not saying they weren't at first, but now he puts himself there. He's, put, he's listed himself as a threat by taking that victory. And now he's on the verge of stopping Joy Fury from getting those points and moving on to uh, grand finals himself. And if you look back at like the year, the last year, the last two years, you know, we saw a lot of the Echo Fox boys. They were kind of the top tier Koreans at all these events. And when you saw John Ding, you were just kind of like, oh yeah, he's good too. But he's not like, he's like a ninth place kind of Korean. Mm -hmm. You know, he might get in the top eight sometimes. But now he's really stepped up the last three months or so. Now he's definitely a threat, as you're seeing here, getting the first game on Joey Fury. And of course, CEO, champion, yeah. et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. Mm -hmm. Get ready for the
And running a Lucky Chloe. So he still, man, Joy Fury is in a bad spot. Because even if he beats his Lucky Chloe right now, you know John Dane is going to switch to Eddie. But you got to believe Joy Fury's got all that Eddie experience from Mr. Yep. Spiro mm -hmm. over and there. And he's talking to him in his ear right now. So mm -hmm. this might just been a counterpick based on the fact that, you know, John Ding knows that Joy Fury has all that knowledge. He, I, like you said, he has his coach in his corner right now, and he's an Eddie player. The biscuits, bro. The biscuits. Remember the biscuits. He always wants the biscuits, G. Here we go. Game number two. Round Joy Fury off in a stick with Jack. No Paul Phoenix today. Risking his tournament life with the Jack. And why not? Like you said, it was one of the things that he's been wanting to focus more on. He wants to play more Jack. He wants to have that Jack in the pocket for some of those matchups that might not be as favorable, but still manageable. Here's the running three. Jack Hammer gets the counter hit down for. Ooh. And catches up stepping. And get the wall. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. everything. There you go. Just enough. Smart stuff. Joey Fury. All standing two right there. A little late on it, but had really good reach. Still had the block of John Dean. Gets out of there, starts the offense of his own. Nice check. Down four once, blocks the power crush. Ooh. Really good duck, gets the Low trade. Oh. Nice. Good conversion uh, uh, here from uh. Joey. Oh, good block. Oh, that is going to hurt. Now, this is a, a high damage combo right here. Yeah, that was a hard to block movement. Man, forward, four, three out of nowhere. John Dean, lucky close, so unconventional. Wow, he went up too early. And now double rage. Who's going to use it first? That is the question. You know, someone just messed up in the brain drive from Lucky Chloe. Just run up and do it. That booster. That booster. I want that booster, man. What you got on the red dress? But I want the booster. Great dance to Lucky Chloe. Testing what he knows. And you know right now, everyone else left the tournament is watching this match like, man, what is Lucky Chloe doing? I got to pay attention. Oh. What a combo. Off the wall to the next one. Oh, good tracking there right there, and a perfect Joy Fury in trouble right now. Yeah, this is set point for John Ding. Joy Fury, if you got anything left, it's now. Punish okay. oh, could have been a down four two. Yeah. Lucky Chloe's hot kick is launch punish. Oh. Wow, caught him. This could be a huge lead for John Ding. Try to get the wall, okay, not so big. Punish, oh. there it is. Whoa, whoa. Don't forget about the wall. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, nice combo from John. Oh, Ooh, he got it! Wall he won the wall again! The wall's in the way! He got the hug! The sister, sister! Oh my goodness! Here we go, final round! Still though, set point for John Ding! So he's gotta stay focused. Jack Hammer right there, answers back instantly. Really good space. Oh no, he Ooh. can't be whipping when she's battered! Look at the damage! This is her most damaging launcher all the way to the wall! Boom! Oh, all the damage! 75%! All the damage! I can feel it! Oh, you still can feel it! And now, Joey, last chance with the rage. He can't even make something happen. Oh, it's a trade. Okay, no walk that's loose up his block. All right, he's going to have to make this comeback with no rage. Can he do it? Crowd is still behind him with a oh. power crush. We'll get him! And John Ding stays alive. Joey Fury goes home with fourth place. John Ding's going to have to stay up. Oh, there. my God. I just realized what's next, too. Yep. John yeah. Ding is going to have to stay up there. You're right.